Hello, my lovelies. Today we are talking about valuing moments of happiness and how they improve our psychological states. Our brains are fascinating and complex, swimming in neurochemicals that make us go. I'm not going to go deeply into the technical terms for this discussion and only give a brief layman's understanding of them. Environmental factors, the things that happen from outside of us, influence what we think and how we feel. Our brains release neurochemicals that either elevate or depress our moods in response to these outside forces. When someone dies, the neurochemical composition changes. The feel-good chemical levels lower and we feel sad or depressed. Likewise, when we experience small things that make us smile, moments of happiness, these feel-good neurochemicals like serotonin and dopamine flood our brains. Our moods become elevated. Before we go any farther, I'd just like to say, welcome to Cape Bonnie country. Thank you so much for stopping by. This channel is not possible without viewer support, so please remember to like this video, subscribe and get notified, comment, and share with your friends and family. That's my new channel promo. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it does make me smile since that removes a good 30 minutes of editing time. I may revisit it in the future. For now, I am pleased with it and will use it until I decide I am bored and want to change it. Back to the topic at hand, moments of happiness. So my background today is a picture I took years ago at the Tennessee Aquarium in Chattanooga. This is a moment of happiness for me for two reasons. First, it was a place full of beauty and creatures that I do not see in my day to day. It was a chance to step back from the stresses and pressures of normal life. Secondly, this is a quality picture that even professional photographers have difficulty capturing. This jellyfish is only as long as an adult thumb. Here, let me rearrange the pictures for you and give you a little bit of a better idea of what the size of this jellyfish actually is. Now, these jellyfish live under the surface of the ocean, and too much light can harm them. Thus, flash pictures are not allowed inside this room of the aquarium. In order to prevent glare and reflections, I had to press my camera lens up to the glass of the tank. Thank you, Tanger. Thank you for that demonstration. In order to prevent glare and reflections, I had to press my camera lens right up against the glass, zoom in on this tiny little creature, and take my chances. When I got home and uploaded the picture, I was so pleased with it that I actually giggled a little bit. It brought me a moment of joy. And since I have this picture, I can revisit that feeling anytime I wish. It is a moment of happiness that I can relive time and time again. It may sound silly or marginal, but when I get down on myself, I can revisit this picture and bring my mood up just a tiny bit. I chose it as the background today to emphasize how much a single moment can influence one's mood. This is another moment of happiness for me, my business card. Why is this a moment of happiness? Well, when these cards were delivered a few days ago, they represent the official beginning of a new chapter of my life. Doc and I chose a heavy linen card that has texture, rounded corners, and generally feels good in your hand. We hope that the card conveys to our potential customers the care and attention to detail that we put into our products. Holding this card for the first time, and this is the first card out of the box, brought a moment 
of happiness and a sense of accomplishment. Unfortunately, that was followed by a moment of panic. I have a lot still to do to build the business. At this moment, the website only features one product for sale. I had to post a picture of a product I made a few years ago because I am not in the habit of taking pictures of everything I make. I have belt blanks on hand and can move into production of any belt someone might want or need. I have other pictures of other products that I can make, but I just have to find the time to sit down and get them posted to the site. I also have prototypes in production of other items that will be posted on the site. If you want to watch how this process progresses, visit www.ragnarokus.com and check back weekly for new product offerings. It is not easy trying to run a home-based business. I cannot afford to hire a webmaster to run the site an accountant to keep the books, or anyone else to assist with production right now. So Doc and I are doing it all ourselves. We hope to grow steadily so that we can offer jobs to others and build up our local community. This business card represents our hopes and dreams as well. So those are examples of specific moments of happiness that are complex and rare. I also have more common moments of happiness that often go unappreciated. When Rojo, the red-nosed pit bull, decides his 80-pound frame is perfect size for a lap dog and he licks my face, well... I don't always appreciate that. He is often squishing me and making me physically uncomfortable. However, I always laugh and smile when he does it. As annoying as this practice of his might be, it manages to bring me a moment of joy at least three times each day. No matter how upset, overwhelmed, confused, or depressed I might be, he is going to lick my face and make me laugh. Feel-good chemicals are released into my brain, and my mood elevates. Tamir, the rescue husky, does the same thing whenever she asks me to play with her. She comes up to me with her clear, shining eyes and gives me a play bow and a short, sharp bark. I might be exhausted or sore and not want to play with her. However, the moment she asks me to play, I smile and engage her. It is a moment of happiness when the rest of the world goes away and I get to entertain the playful child that still exists deep within me. Throod, the retired fighter, and Bree, the queen bee of the pack. Well, they're both getting older and not as playful or energetic as they used to be. However, they still bring me moments of happiness when they curl up on the couch with me for petting while I watch programs and videos from other content creators. Another common moment of happiness is noticing the sunset. And that usually happens when I'm driving. There is about a two-minute window every evening when the sun lowers towards the western horizon and the sky becomes filled with brilliant shades of orange, pink, and blue, and white if the clouds are just so. If I am lucky and catch this time of day, I behold an ethereal beauty that makes me feel at peace. The sun rises, the sun sets, and life continues on, no matter what. There is peace within the consistency of the sunset. Finally, the little moments of happiness that come from the ones we love are the ones that most often go unappreciated. 
Doc Dillinger is not a perfect person. None of us are. He infuriates and it frustrates me daily. At least twice a day. However, he does little things that make the less than wonderful moments worth it. He is a bit antisocial, so I do most of the shopping. He very rarely goes to a store unless he needs something specific. On the rare occasions that he does go to the store, he always brings back a little something for me. It might be a type of candy or a drink that I like. Some little gadget that caught his eye and he thought it might suit me. Or a card for an occasion that isn't happening right now, but just happens to have a picture on the front of it that he thinks will make me smile. I might be sitting at the desk working on the bills, and he comes out of the kitchen with a handful of Hershey's Kisses for me. I might be up to my elbows in the workshop, and he brings me a sandwich. I always thank him, but it is usually from habit and not from thought. Someone does something nice for you, so you thank them. It's good manners and automatic. The actual appreciation for giving me that moment of happiness and joy is not conveyed in those words. To be honest, when my brain is wrapped around whatever has my focus at that moment, I don't truly appreciate it. That realization comes later when my brain is done dealing with that focal point. Most of us live our lives worrying about finances, not having enough time to do all that we want to do and need to do, logistics of needing to be in 10 places at the same time, and dealing with various stressors that life sends our way. I sincerely believe that the little moments of happiness that come in between those worries are the things that give us the mental fortitude to continue on. And we rarely take the time to truly appreciate them. So over the next few days, I challenge you. Take notice and appreciate the little things, the moments of happiness that lift you up out of the rut of daily life and help you keep going. Then come back here and tell me what you learned about yourself in the comments.